Hello, and welcome to my video review of my dual witches stirring the cauldron. And for testing, I have my daughter here who will demonstrate how scary these witches are. So they actually have motion detection, and I've actually set the switch for that infrared detection. And what we will do is we will plug it in, and I'll show you how they actually will recognize movement and then start moving. So the power cord for, for this is actually not that long. Um, it's basically about eh, three to five feet. So I got the power cord here, goes up under the witch and under her dress to about the midsection where the box is that has the speaker and all the other wires. So we're gonna plug it in. On the cold, when the cauldron begins to boil, I can see you're full of fright, and your fun begins to spoil. <laughs> Don't be caught without a breath. To keep you unwell at time, soon you might meet your end, sitting in our cauldron bath. <laughs> So as you can see, they play a, a the first phrase immediately, and because they saw me moving slightly, they're going to start again. You can see she's quite scared. And I'm going to remain as still as possible, and you can see that they still recognize me, even standing still. Of course, she's running away because she's so scared about those witches. And now, I'm going to stand outside their sensor area. And this way, you'll be able to see if they actually recognize just the daughter, which they did. Now, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. So, they can recognize a small child, which is really great, because, of course, that's who's going to be trick-or-treating in front of them. However, the problem with these which is that stir the cauldron is that when I got it, it was actually up to full maximum volume. And when it's full maximum volume, you basically just get a really bad reverberating noise coming off the sound box. Um, and it makes the text basically nonsense. You, you can't understand anything they're trying to say. Um, makes it very unpleasant. So what I did is I turned it down to about half of its maximum volume. And now you can understand what they're both saying. Um, overall, though, I have to say that the witches are pretty good. I'm probably going to give them about a 4 out of 5. Uh, the instructions were straightforward until you get to the wiring. But the wiring, you really don't need instructions for because all you have to do is plug in the two ends of each uh, cable that connect to each other. It's impossible to, to connect the wrong ones together um, based on the type of connectors they use. Um, and then the other thing that was kind of a, a negative is the poles that the, they use to hold the witches are these metal poles that basically join together. And it's a little difficult to see, but... Um, you can see here the pin that's sticking out of one of the pole connection points. Um, they, while they do keep it from sliding out, the problem is they also don't prevent it from wobbling along its axis. Um, and it, it makes it a little difficult to actually move the witches because of that. But once they're all snapped together, you can grab uh, the both poles and lift up evenly and move them along um, wherever you need to move the witches to. And then of course there's uh, the Velcro which 
you can kind of see under here. Um, this Velcro point is supposed to hold the cape, and there's several other points that hold like the hat and various other parts of the costume. The problem is the Velcro is not really positioned properly for the various costume parts. So I kind of had to say whatever, I'm going to attach it where it actually fits best. For that reason, you can actually see there's Velcro underneath the witch's chin, completely unused. And the same thing applies um, over here where I had to basically ignore a piece of Velcro that's actually underneath here. Um, it's kind of hard to tell just because it's black on on uh, light colored skin, which does not show up well on a camera. But, um, like I said, overall, I am pleased. They're probably going to get a 4 out of 5 stars, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, however, I think the manufacturer should lower the price of it based on its construction um, to probably closer to like 120 130 um, the the costume design is still good though I, I definitely like it and uh, the hair is uh, pretty good quality so thank you very much for watching my video review of the two witches stirring the cauldron